Hello, Danielle here of divinetransmissions.com. And I was really feeling guided to mix up my written email messages with a video transmission today. And so the subject really is about opening the way, preparing the way to receive more. And I don't know about you, and I'm curious if you've ever had that experience where you are asking for more and yet you actually don't have the net or the vessel or the space for that more to come in. So you may have the experience of having a full closet of clothes and you are asking for a new outfit and yet there's no space for that new outfit to get in your closet. Or you may have had the experience of really being on a big mission and knowing that you're here to contribute more and yet tapping into like a bandwidth that there's not enough time or energy or support to implement what it is that you are called to. So this is a little bit like in the manifestation, actualization, midwifing process, trying to fill a thimble with an ocean worth of, of water. And so the way to open the way is to widen your thimble, to have your thimble become a chalice, have your chalice become uh, a pond, have your pond become a pool, have your pool become this, this bay of water so that you're always opening the way for that which you are creating and manifesting that you have a net to catch it in. So there are physical plane aspects of this where you create the, the space, uh, back to the example in your closet that you perhaps declutter clutter some of the things you're not using in there. And then there's also energetic aspects to this. There's energetic aspects to this. And that now is a time of great divine expansion. And what expands the divine is different than what used to expand the divine. So what used to expand the divine what in separation consciousness were the illusion lies of lack and doubt and fear and scarcity and survival. What expands the divine now is, and you are the divine, and the divine is organic, ever-changing, ever-flowing, always evolving, is love. It is abundance. It is space. It is unity. And so this conscious choosing to, to really focus on your containers, focus on your vessels. Now, the cool thing about your bank accounts, for example, is that they are an expandable vessel. They are an expandable container. That thimble uh, can be a, in most bank accounts, can, can be infinite. And, and so there are other aspects that that's not the case. It's not built in to, to be this kind of expanding energy. So in terms of your vessel and your bandwidth, your capacity to create more and receive more without doing more, one of the keys to that and it may not be what you think, is, is the energy of love. That love is inclusive. And love is a vibration of neutrality that can also be including in to the oneness and to the wholeness more. And again, 
It really depends on your stance. Tove often talks about this analogy of the thimble in the ocean. I'm using it in a different way here of like when you have a separation consciousness, fear or lack, and that's food coloring and you put it in a thimble, it really colors the whole, the water in the thimble. If you put it in the ocean, a few drops of that fear or that lack or that doubt, it doesn't color the entire ocean. And so in this unity consciousness, new paradigm of divine expansion, you have the capacity to be widening your own vessel so that the food coloring of whatever is going on around you doesn't color your entire experience. So I just invite you today to be contemplating how can you open the way? How can you prepare your vessel? And there may be an action that you take where it's symbolic in the physical plane where you take an outfit out just as like, yes, I have more space to welcome more in. And then it may also be that you focus on the energy of appreciation at your heart that also creates more space. And if you'd like to really go deep into this for this is really what we are covering in the upcoming Magdalene Codes of Love journey that begins on 11.11 to create epic, sustainable, scalable, resourced expansion and multi-D abundance of that which matters most to you and you are aligned with all through the energy of divine love and multidimensionality. Because unlike your closet, your multidimensionality, you as a multidimensional being and leader and healer and practitioner and someone that's on a big mission of divine service, you have an infinite supply of your multidimensionality. And this is also what we're really gonna hook up in the Magdalene Codes of Love is that access to the places and the spaces where you are infinite, that ocean, as well as having the vessel of your energy system really prepared to receive more without the wobble, without the burnout, without trading one form of abundance for another, without the physical exertion. So if you'd like to find out more about the Magdalene Codes of Love, just reply to this with yes, and we'll send you next steps. So again, we start soon. And if you're called, I invite you to just reply with yes. Thank you for tuning in, sending you much love and appreciation. And as Toth and the Council always say, thanking you for your contribution to the evolution and consciousness where it really takes all of us. Okay, bye for now.